We are here at the Evolve exhibition. I'm sat inside the Pix Robobus. You would have seen this similar setup in uh, Harriet Watt University or Maza City if you've ever been. So it's a self-driving shuttle. To speak more about this, we have uh, Dr. Mohammed with us. Um, so sir, can you please explain the product? Yes. So, so I think I'll start from the platform. The platform itself is autonomous platform. Uh, that means you have four wheels that can navigate and follow basically instructions uh, on autonomous uh, level. So you don't have to remotely control it or teleoperate it. It's more of a fleet that runs around. And in this specific uh, use case, is a shuttle bus. So you could fit six people. You normally have five plus a safety driver for when you are just a new to a place or running a pilot or a proof of concept. But you could take over the seats and make it a shop, a clinic, an ATM machine, a smart police station, you name it, uh, retail on demand and so on. Great. Okay. So uh, are there any examples of that right now on the roads of the UAE? No, to be honest. On the retail side, I can't think of anything in the UAE. Probably on the delivery small robots. There are a few pilots on delivery and that use a smaller scale of, of autonomous systems. So there's the talk about smart cities uh, coming up soon. I'm assuming that the entire place would be flooded with this sort Absolutely. of Absolutely. I think, to be honest, that would be the immediate use case for such vehicles and solutions. Uh, you want communities, urban cities, smart cities, and getting the mobility sorted for people. Tell us about this particular machine, sir. How, uh, how many kilometers of range would it yeah. have on a full charge? So this, uh, this vehicle is a four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, so it could navigate a really uh, small, I would say, tight turn. It has a battery that you could actually customize it based on the solution. You could get to hundreds of kilometers of range if your use case requires that. Or you could drop it down if, for example, you are using a shuttle between A and B, and that requires less. When you drop the battery capacity, you'll drop your cost, your charging time, uh, your basically maintenance, and that will affect your return of investment if you are an operator and so on. So here, for example, uh, you get to see how you would be changing lane or parking much faster than a typical car. Yeah. So this is the sort of technology we can see in like Hummer EVs and all that, right? Exactly, yes. Right. And that will allow much more uh, easier maneuverability. And it also have four wheel uh, drive. So each one of the wheels will have its own motor uh, or use a central motor. How many cameras are on there? So cameras wise, you would see on the top there, there are cameras here. Okay. That are also on the sides. There is these LiDARs, they use laser to basically map everything around and get a live 3D. Uh, it depends on the use case, this has two LiDARs, other vehicles we have have four. If you are planning to move both directions equally, right. this is set to move only front in oh. most of the cases. There are sensors just like your typical parking sensors and these to see, you know, pavement, pets, kids, oh, things sure. that are nearby. And there are millimeter uh, radars. So you see these normally in now with adaptive cruise control mm -hmm. and cars that have more and more uh, ADAS systems. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, you would have both sides, so you could also predict what happens behind you. Got it, all right. Great, I think you've given us a very, very comprehensive understanding about product, and I'm really grateful for your time again. Thank you very much.